Khan has also um, tweaked the ATF tax uh, to 1%. So what are the brokerages making of this move? Sonia joins in to fill us in. Sonia. Hi, Ekta. Good morning. Yes, I expect the stocks to be on the upside today as well because as you uh, rightly pointed out, after Delhi, Rajasthan has also gone ahead and cut the uh, ATF tax to 1% from 25% earlier. Now, this puts more pressure on some of the metros, the other metros as well, to go ahead and cut the tax. And if that comes through, then that would be a big positive, as Spicejet was just telling us. Uh, 1%, uh, 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 you know, the cut in the tax will lead to a 10% savings on costs overall if it's done across the country. Now, uh, some uh, brokerages have put out their views. Uh, Kotak says that this announcement is a big positive for the sector, although for now the impact on the industry is limited because many of these regional routes uh, have not picked up, the airports have not been established. But once that happens, then it's going to be a big uh, positive for the sector as a whole. Currently, Northeast uh, and those regions account for a very small portion. But as we know, it's not only for Northeast, but it's for all the regional uh, you know, connectivity routes, the RCS as we call it. Uh, they also say that fuel accounts for 30% of the revenues of low-cost airlines. So if, if now since there's a 24% cut in the ATF tax, that should lead to a 7% reduction in the average ticket prices on these uh, routes. So uh, they believe that for now, uh, the sentiment continues to be positive on the aviation sector. And hence, I expect some of these stocks to move up today as well. Uh, the additional positive for aviation companies is that there's been a 5% fall in global crude prices overnight. Uh, crude is now the lowest level in the last three months uh, at $53.6 a barrel for Brent. So that would be mean an additional fillip for uh, some of these aviation stocks. All right, Sonia. Thanks so much.